Hey everybody, what's up? So today we're gonna take a look at one of the best budget USB-C hubs for your M1 Mac mini. So stay tuned to the video and I'll show you more about it. So here's how I have mine set up. I have the gray version. They now have it in silver, so it matches the Mac mini. I prefer this color because I like the color contrast between the two. I'll leave a link to it in the description below if you want to check it out. Right here you can see the size difference. It's about half the height of the Mac mini and it's pretty lightweight. Let's look at the ports on the back of the Mac mini. As you can see, you don't get as many ports as previous Mac mini models, and there are no longer any SD card slots. You get one HDMI port, two USB-A ports. On the Hajibis hub, you get an SD card and TF card slot, which is no longer on the Mac mini. You also get some extra USB ports. So you can place it on top of the Mac mini like this. But I prefer to keep mine on the bottom like this. I just think it looks better and there's enough space under it for airflow. It stays in place on the desk thanks to the pads on the bottom. Your hub and Mac mini won't slide around. It comes with a USB-C cable for you to connect it to the Mac mini. Just simply plug it into the Mac mini and hub like this. And you're all set. There are two USB 2.0 ports with speeds up to 480 megabits per second, two USB 3.0 ports with speeds up to 5 gigabits per second, the SD card and TF card slot speeds are up to 480 megabits per second. There are also some indicator lights right here. All right, here are some little things to show you how they connect. I got a USB flash drive. When plugging in USB devices, make sure to flip them over because the USB ports are flipped upside down and just plug it in like this. Let's put in the SD card. Now let's do the TF card. I know there are no USB-C ports on this hub to connect your USB-C devices, but I got a solution for that. I'm gonna use this USB-C to USB-A adapter to connect my USB-C SSD to the hub. And that's it. That's how you can connect USB-C devices to this hub. Pretty cool stuff. Here's a closer look at the hub. We got the Hajibis logo right here. My favorite thing about this hub is the hard drive enclosure on the bottom. That's how I expanded my storage with a one terabyte SSD. I have a video on my channel how to do it so you can check it out. This is definitely a big money saver right here. So make sure to check out that video. It also comes with four screws and a screwdriver to secure the SSD inside. Here's the hard drive indicator light and this is the power light so you know it's connected. Another cool feature with this hub is you can charge your devices so I could just plug my magic keyboard in and let it charge. 
or even my Magic Mouse 2, so that's very useful, unlike some other hubs. So it's a great buy in my opinion, definitely check it out. I've been using mine for a few months now and it has been doing great. I edit all my videos from the external SSD that's inside. So give this video a thumbs up, share it with a friend and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at LamarMK. As always, thanks for watching, stay safe and peace out.